Okay, good day. Today I am going to show how to prototype MATLAB to work with speech recognition software. Unfortunately, uh, we cannot discuss MATLAB in detail since there are so many stuff to learn and we are limited with time constraints. Uh, I mean, what I mean to say is we have worked with MATLAB programming for uh, two entire semesters and I will try to discuss this uh, in as few minutes as possible. So let's get started. What I have here is a sample pronunciation. Rendezvous. 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 You can uh, download this and paste it in uh, YouTube mp3.to just just click convert it will give you download options which I have already done like so I place it here in a, a specific uh, location in my hard drive so now let's go to MATLAB what you want is you are going to copy this path and paste it in this MATLAB path uh, navigation so it will take you in the same folder as to where you have downloaded the file now let's try if we can get MATLAB to play this file so what I want is to create a matrix sample F this sample is where it is going to store the audio data of our sample it's a variable actually so sample here is a variable and f is another variable it is the frequency of our sound source it's usually 48 uh, kilohertz or 44.1 kilohertz so i'm going to type in the matlab command audio read sample that mp3 i'm going to close it matlab is going to analyze that as you can see there are values that are popping up and we have also the frequency of the sound source which is 44.1 kilohertz let me try and open this file so open selection there are a lot of zeros because obviously it's a, obviously it's a quiet moment in the sound file but then we have values which when we say which when uh, the, sp the speaker said the word rendezvous and then there are quiet times again if we are going to plot it type in plot sample and it will show us the, re the graphical representation of our numerical data like so now what we want is that we are going to record our own voice and compare it with the sample so to do that I want to create a script. I'm going to create a script. Let's say record voice. It's going to prompt. You say yes. Now, uh, we don't have time to uh, code it one by one. So let's just type in get audio data from the help. And just copy the example here. I'm going to paste it in the script. The difference between the command window and the script is that a command window uh, immediately does the command that it is being told to do, and uh, in the script, it uh, won't do the stuff until you tell it to do so uh, by clicking run. So, uh, just to explain in the detail, uh, MATLAB has already provided us with uh, provided us with comments. It's going to record our voice for five seconds, and then play it back, and then store the data, and then plot the waveform. Now, uh, I want to do uh, a few changes here. For example, I'm going to type in my voice, and then it asks me to shift enter to rename the instances. I'm just going to do that, press shift, enter, 
it will automatically change all the variables to my voice this is the time the length of how long it's going to record so i just like to put in let's say three three seconds it's going to display start speaking record for three seconds and then it's going to display end of recording to signify that it's no longer recording and then it's going to play back what i have said so i'm just going to delete this part right here because we can do it at a later time i want to run this and i'm going to speak and compare my voice with the sample and see if the waveforms match i'm going to do it like so run zevu now uh, i don't know if uh, you can hear it in the playback but uh, the playback sounds so robotic it's because my screen recording software is uh, actually recording my voice at the same time matlab is also doing the recording so there is some crazy feedback loop going on in the background and that results in the ugly quality of my voice but now uh, going back here we can see that uh, this var this is also a variable my recording is a variable that it gets the data from what I have said so what I have said it converts it to a numeric matrix and has placed it here as you can see it's zero when I was silent and then I try to I, I said stuff and then it gives me some values So let's see. We're going to use the subplot command. A subplot is being used when you are trying to compare two plots with each other. So let's type in two because we are going to use two plots. We'll place this on the first row and the first column. So that's the meaning, uh, that's the syntax of the subplot command. We have it here, the figure. MATLAB automatically generates the figure. Let's just close this up. And then we want to plot sample, just as we did earlier. Oops, sorry, I pressed the wrong program. Okay. Well, I messed up there, but uh, you can see the plot right there. Now, subplot. Again, whatever is placed here, uh, it will be reflected here. We're going to place it on the f uh, first row and second column, or rather, it is interchanged. I think it's the second column and first. I don't know, but I'm just going to place it subplot command, and then we can see that it inserted another plot at the bottom of this plot, and we want to plot what we have said. And then we can see the waveforms. This is just a prototype, so it's uh, not going to work perfectly. The gist here is to see if the, the two waveforms match. Obviously, it's not matching because, uh, as I have said, there's some crazy feedback loop that just happened. So my voice is uh more of a robot than a human's voice we are faced with uh, several challenges like how to get all uh, this is just one sample uh, we are going to have uh let's say many many samples and uh, to to know where to get those audio files those audio samples is something i do not know of as of this time and uh, the thing is notice if you uh, if you speak in different times I mean I started a bit late as compared to the video I mean I started earlier as compared to the video because the plots right here are not of the same time scale MATLAB might not consider it as correct even though the pronunciation is perfect and another thing is the sound quality and the quality of the microphone that is recording 
is another factor that we are to also consider. But uh, as we delve in into this uh, topic more, uh, our teacher has suggested that instead of using this, but we can try to use the frequency domain analysis which will disregard the volume how loud I speak and just analyze the frequency of what I have said and compare the two we can generate a MATLAB function that will analyze if the error is within acceptable values and then it will tell us uh, okay you got that correct or oh no you got it wrong we can code a script for that however we cannot do that uh, immediately it takes time to develop it next is also we want to create an application here but again we cannot do so as of the moment because this is such a little time but basically the concept and the principle is the same uh, compare a sample with the actual voice uh, allow MATLAB to calculate if the error is within acceptable values and then we create an application for it so that we don't have to deal with these codes th these codes which are honestly uh, difficult to interpret especially if you have not done MATLAB uh, in the past uh, I just want to end by saying this MATLAB is not the best software for this but I believe it is capable of prototyping our speech synthesis program. That's all and thank you.